Hey folks, Dono here with MasterFlash.net, getting ready to show you a piece of the Drupal 7 Commerce Mass Product Import Tutorial. And uh, this one's great because what we have the ability to do now is import anywhere from one product to a thousand products to five thousand products, pretty much whatever our servers will allow to uh, update at once. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of walk through some of these tabs up here. These are taxonomy links that we've set up to uh, populate once the products have installed. That way we can send them somewhere to automatically display on the site, whether we're doing a, a live production update or uh, you know something behind the scenes before anybody can see. That's basically what we walk through uh, in this tutorial. Now if I head into the uh, content section in here, just notice we have uh, zero content in here. If I head into the uh, store where the products usually hide in the back end, got uh, no products in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the same document to update the product list and the same document to populate the nodes to bring the product list to the front end. So check this out. I've already gone ahead and set up all of the uh, feeds and all that good stuff so all I have to do is come in here and uh, choose the item that I want to import first and of course what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the uh, products and it's as easy as this. I'm going to grab one document here. I'm going to go ahead and hit import. And this should populate about 30 products. Okay, so if I head into the store, go back and look at the products in here, you can see that we've populated the SKUs, the uh, titles, and of course the images and the cost. Okay, so uh, obviously right now that doesn't do any good if it's not showing up on the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into the feeds to set up a uh, import of nodes. And I'm going to do that by using the same exact file that uh, I used to import the products. So if I come in here to the nodes, I'm going to choose the same file, run import. should say 33 nodes and we're good to go and check it out. If I hit one of these tabs up here it'll show us the list of Drupal tutorials all populated and pretty. Head into the flash one all populated and pretty and we've got uh, obviously several pages of these and uh, now check it out if I go into the Photoshop tutorials there's going to be nothing in there. So if I were to bring in my document I was working on and populate this with a bunch of Photoshop tutorials check out what I can do. Uh, what I can do is I can head back into the feeds importer, import some more products with the same exact document, I can import here, and it should be 15 extra products. Okay, we've created 15 products, now we could go look at those but uh, there's really no need. So I'm going to head to the node importer again and we're going to populate this Photoshop tab in the background. And again I'm using the same exact file. And uh, hopefully this doesn't blow up in my face and check it out. All right, and then we have our entire list of Photoshop tutorials populating within minutes. And uh, it's extremely easy to use. So uh, if you have any use for updating multiple products or just using your products based on a feed, that's what this tutorial is going to teach you.